Hi, I'm back with another try on video, but this one's not a try on because it's for my vintage taxi sock pattern. And I'm not going to try them on because they're socks and because I'm not going to show my feet for free on the internet. But I'm sure you'll believe me when I tell you that they fit because it's a sock shape. So this sock pattern is a design that I had for my ready-to-wear collection, which means that I offered a sock very similar to this, but uh, ready-made and it was machine knit. So this was a really fun project to try to mimic what's done on the machine, but in hand knitting. And of course, because it's hand knit, it's like way more luxe anyway. It has all the highs and lows and slight imperfections that make hand knitting beautiful. And I just want to point out a few details. So first of all, all of these yarns were just yarns I had in my stash. I think a few of them I had left over from my first frog and toad knit along, the body ones. Actually, this sort of tweedy, darker brown one, I had... My grandmother, who's now passed, actually left this yarn for me, or she left it to anyone, and I'm the person who got it. Um, and then this mohair plus sock yarn combo I have because I knit Toad in that yarn. And I knit Toad's little bathing costume in this yarn, but I love them together. So I just want to zoom in and show you some details. So this sock is knit from the top down and it starts with a one by one rib and we have a little stripe in the middle and then it transitions to a very sweet garter detail row. I just love how all these textures sort of match up and come to life here. Then we switch to the checkers and you're just getting used to the checker pattern for a straightaway here while you knit the sort of crew length or whatever length you want. Then the heel is a heel flap and then heel turn, so sort of a classic heel. It features a slip stitch pattern which makes it a little more sturdy because it has sort of those little slipped floats that happen in slip stitch, so it gives it a little bit more body. And then my favorite part is where you pick up along that heel flap and, wait, I just need to get this in the frame. Look at that beautiful gusset shaping. The way that the stitches sort of come together in the decrease, but you maintain the checker is just so beautiful to me. And then again, you knit straight away for a while. And then finally you have the toe, which is just made through standard, uh, standardly placed decreases. And that's it.